Hi everyone, it's Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie, and today I have um, unboxing to do with you for you. I, if you watched my last video of my craft haul, you will have seen a teaser um, of a diamond painting that I bought from Walmart. And as I told you in there, I bought five of them. So here I am going to show you all five of them, see what's inside, see the quality. And as I had mentioned, these are made by Diamond Dots. So I expect that the quality will be comparable to Diamond Dots. This is the first one. This is the one I showed in the video, the craft hall. Glare everywhere. There we go. It is a parrot. Uh, do they have a specific name for it? They don't. That's one thing Diamond Dots the Diamond Dots paintings you get, they actually have a name. They've named their paintings. This is an, a green box, so it's an intermediate. These are $12.97. Oh, and they do have tape on them, so let's break the tape. One side, and Teslin did help me pick these out. If you missed the last video, here is a picture of her standing by the display with her hand on the very first one she picked out. So, here we go, getting a look for the first time. Okay, everything is out of the box now. Okay, we will look at this part in a second. I want to look at the canvas. See, now I'm, I'm guessing that Diamond Dots made this brand um, to sell at a wholesaler like Walmart because of the fact that the Diamond Dots are only sold in like craft stores and so they're a higher price. And the things I'm noticing, there's little, just little tiny changes that I've noticed on these packages um, that aren't on that are actually on the diamond dots like their bags they don't have a logo on them which i'm guessing they saved money doing this also on the box they don't have the printing at the bottom that shows you the size tells you the size of the canvas and the the size of the drilling area plus uh, obviously they don't have a name for the painting and what else is missing on here um there's I mean, they do still have the drill area. They call it the dazzle area, which is shows right here because so that we know this one's a partial. They don't have the scan barcode thing on the side that they have on the diamond dots. And um, if I think of anything more, I'll let you know. The canvas seems to be the same quality. It's still got the surged edges. The bottom here, it does still show the full painting and the drill area. And it tells you the design size and the fabric size. It tells you on the box as well, but it's just right here telling you um, fabric size and then in parentheses, they put it in, in centimeters. But that's not telling you the drill area, which is um, 32 centimeters by 32 centimeters compared to the 40 centimeters that it tells you on the box. So the good thing, the thing about the ones in um, Michael's or Joanne's is they actually tell you both so that you can get yourself a frame while you're there if you want to. But also you'll know exactly how much of the area you'll be drilling. Uh, but this one, it just tells you the, the fabric size. They won't, they, it doesn't tell you the rest. So let's open this up. The covering seems to be as good of a quality. It's the nice thick covering. Now here's the instructions. It seems to be the same exact instructions. It just has the Diamond Art by Leisure Arts logo instead of the Diamond Dots logo on there. And it gives you all the care instructions and it tells you everything you need to do. Um, I have not seen one this small from Diamond Dots. This is pretty small. Um, this could actually be done rather quickly. 
they do actually have a number chart now, it looks like. See, it has the diamond dot number on it, which, as you know, they don't go by DMC codes. They have their own diamond dot numbers. I have noticed that their drills are a little bit bigger than um, the regular ones because I tried using my multi-placer on one of these and I couldn't get them to fit on like the other ones. I was just looking here because it looks like it's kind of bubbled up, but that's just a crease from the covering be being put on there. It is, it's got uh, big gaps here from being rolled. So I'm just going to pull it back and lay it back down. These are really actually pretty small, uh, the drilling area. It's, I mean, there's plenty to do here, but uh, this is definitely something that someone younger would be able to handle. I mean, of course, we could handle it too, but if, if, you, if you're if you looking to have your, your children's try, children try it out and you see them at um, Walmart, this would be perfect, Th this intermediate at least, because it doesn't have as much to drill. It does say diamond dots over here, and it has the, the codes um, here as well. Now, I did make a phone call to diamond dots, and I called an, or the company itself that makes diamond dots, and I asked them if they had a chart to um, just show all their different colors that they have. They said they didn't have it at the moment they were working on it. So it looks like they, they actually have one now. So I'm gonna do a little research. I'm gonna try and see if they have it online. And if I don't find anything online, then I'm going to be giving them a call again because of the fact that they are actually putting the numbers on here now. So they must have some kind of a system, which is what I would like to do um, being that, uh, we, I have a chart for the regular DMC numbers. Uh, I want to make a separate one for diamond dots because, uh, I'm obviously been getting quite a few diamond dots lately. And with Walmart having them now, there's more of an opportunity. So I want to make a separate filing system for the diamond dot leftovers and having these numbers will help greatly. Okay. So this, we've looked at the, the canvas here. Um, the sticky was is very decent. It's diamond dot quality. And this has 19 colors. The symbols uh they seem they they seem to be the same ones that they use on diamond dots. Some of them I haven't seen before like this N shape. And here I'll let you look at the drilling area. It's very clear to see these numbers and they put lots of color in the background for you to be able to have that color show through since these are rounds. So there's that. And now let's look at what they come in with their kits. Now the bag says uh, 49297. It does say it have a name on it. They do have a name. It's called Delay, Delay Blue Parrot. Dally? Or maybe it's Dally. Dally? I don't know. But it it did name it and this is 49297 and looking for that on here. I'm not finding that number on the actual diamond painting, but it has a name. So might want to make note. Let's see. Yeah, it's not even down here. Oh, wait, you've done. It's right in front of my face. Wow. <laughs> it actually has the name and the canvas number right here. So yeah, it is there. All right. So that won't be hard to match up what goes to what. Oh, look, they actually put in the circular container and their gray, their gray uh, drill tray with the sparkly pin. And I've got a yellow cushy now. I haven't had a yellow one yet. They put in quite a few bags with the red tip, but these, um, as far as I remember from Diamond Dots even, they're not the, the higher quality. These are the very thin ones that I will never use. So, there we go. That's what their toolkit looks like. And here are the gems. And they do have the Diamond Dot logo on each one of the packages. And they actually now have their number on them, 8157 for 8, 810, 8157, yep. 
So that's definitely something I am going to look into until I get it. Um, until I can get that chart, even if I have to make my own. Now look, this has got the AB finish on it. A015004. And I'm guessing the 500 numbers are going to be the ones with the AB finish because that's number one. And that's the only one on here that has a 500. So we'll find out if that holds true by looking at these other colors, see if they have an AB finish. They have all these beautiful pinks. I like this one because of all the colors. I'm not a, you know, parrot connoisseur or aficionado. Yeah, there's very few of these colors in here. And I don't see an AB finish on any of the others. So let's look at the other packages and see what that shows us. Be right back. All right, here we go. Here is the second one. And I don't know the name of it until we open it up and see what it says on the drill area. This is a 40 by 40 fabric size as well. And this is the drilling area. I'm used to my camera being on this side, so I keep showing you on the wrong side. Here's the drill area. That's what it'll look like. And let's open it up. This is also an intermediate. Like I said, I, um, in my other video, I did not find any of the beginner boxes. They just had um, intermediate and advanced, or what it called? Intermediate, yeah, and, and advanced. So let's look at the sun. This one's actually, the other one didn't have any sticky on the tape bag that held it closed. So this one does. All right, this one's called, uh, okay, D-A-L-A-I, that's on all of them. So I'm not going to read that word anymore. I'm not sure what it means. Um, this one's called the Sun Mandala. And the design area is 32 by 32, just like the parrot. But it seems to be like there are more things to drill on this one than there was on the other one. It's, it, I, if I remember correctly, it said that there was more of a weight on these gems as well. Okay, so these colors, the A01 is an 800 this time. So these are all 800, so I'm guessing if my theory was correct in their numbering, there won't be any of the AB finish on this one. Now, the glue doesn't seem the best, but it, it's probably efficient enough for what it is. I mean, uh, if, I don't know. Sometimes, I mean, it's holding really well. Just that first spot didn't seem to be as sticky, but I'm sure it was. I used to really be into the moon and, um, yeah, the moon. And I used to have a lot of, uh, this was back when I was in my early 20s, high school. I started, you know, liking that whole design of the moon. I don't know why I'm doing this. The sun and the moon, sorry. This is more of a sun. So, yeah, sun and the moon. God, I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyway, this um, doesn't have very many colors. It only has six, but here is the drilling area. I'm sure the drilling area is going to be the same on all of them. Very clear and easy to read with nice colors in the background to be able to see through. Let's check out these drills. Same kit, I got a light baby blue one in this one to go along with my yellow. I know I'm not keeping them with my with the boxes because I probably should because I normally do something with each thing and I only keep so much of it. All right, so we've got a blue, a brown, a yellow, another yellow. It's actually the same color, two bags of it. Another brown, another blue, and another yellow with no AB finish. 
so far. That's what it's looking like with their numbering system. Some people don't care. Some people don't keep their leftovers, but I do. And even Diamond Dots has the habit of, um, not a habit, but it's, they, they have it sometimes where they run out, you run out of diamonds. Every, every company is going to have that happen at one point or another. Sorry about all the crinkling. It's probably extra loud with this microphone too. Try and go really slow so it won't crinkle so much. Okay, there. Yeah. All right, and, yet, and again, it came with the full instructions. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put this one away and I'll be right back. Pause. Okay, here we are with the third one. And this is the one that Tesla picked out first. It is a unicorn. There's the complete canvas and that's the drill area. It does say 40 by 40 again. So I'm guessing it's going to be a 32 by 32. Oh, this one's been opened. I didn't open it. It wasn't. Somebody must have opened it up in the store to look at it. I just hope everything's here. Yeah, it looks like everything's here. This canvas does look like it's got some... Maybe someone returned it? I don't know. Because there's something... Maybe they returned it because of this. But let's try something really quick. So I don't want to have to go into town to return it if I don't have to. Yeah, this is whatever it is. It's not coming off with the baby wipe. So it must be tape or, or paint or something. So let's leave that be. All right, here we go. This one's called flower. I'm guessing that flower unicorn. Yep, because there's flower in the hair. Shows you the dazzle area and the... Dazzle area and the complete canvas. It is 32 by 32 fabric size. It's got 14 colors. Came with the instructions. And that, now that's gonna be nice. That's a nice little painting to put up in a little girl's room or in a big girl's room or a big boy's room or little boy's room, whatever. It's not gender, gender specific. And it has one, it has one 500 number. So I'm going to guess that that AO6 is going to have a B finish. And that is the up arrow. And that is right inside the flower here. And that looks like it's the only place that you find that symbol. Yeah, you can have spaghetti. Are you making a video? Yes, I'm making a video. Hi. <laughs> All right, so let's look at these drills. She's feeling a lot better. She went to school again today. Came home and fell asleep for a little bit. I'm sure she's still trying to recover. All right, so here's our toolkit, another yellow. And the one that I said had the up arrow on it. Is right here. A06, and it sure enough, it has an AB finish on it. See that? You can see those like, um, it's got that extra sparkle. It's got a coating on it that um, gives just that extra shine. And just having it highlighted in, highlit, having that highlighted, I guess, in your painting helps just to add a little bit of sparkle, extra sparkle. So, that is good to know. All these new numbers, if it starts, if it's a 5,000 number, then it's going to be an AB finish. Well, that's um, going by the two that I've had with those numbers on it. So let's I'll put this one away and I'll be right back with the next one. 
Okay, now here is our last intermediate. And this one is a cute little kitty cat. This is the complete canvas. And this shows the dazzle area or drill area. And it does take up almost the, oh, here, you're not even in, there we go. It does take up most of the canvas, the squared area. So I figured, well, that's gonna be good. That's the closest I can get to a full drill on the intermediate, because I, I didn't find any that were full drill for, for this um, uh, level, experience level. So it is also a 40 by 40. So I'm, I'm just guessing that the intermediates are all gonna be the same size, the 40 by 40 with the 32, 32 centimeter drill area. Let's get this opened. I shouldn't have grabbed that unicorn, the one in the front. Should have known the ones in the front are always the ones that get opened or looked at or the returns. I'm really excited that they have these available at Walmart for a decent price. And if they ever put them on sale even, that'll be even better. Okay. This one definitely hadn't been opened before. All right, let's get this puppy, puppy, not this puppy, this kitty out. Okay, this one was rolled the other direction because normally it would start at the bottom. Let's look at the numbers. I don't have any 5,000s. They're all 8,000s. So I'm guessing there's not gonna be any AB finishes. Yeah, this does say the design size is 32 by 32 centimeters. Here's that information down here at the bottom. Now, oh, this cat's not that cute, actually. He looks kind of angry. <laughs> but oh well, it's called white cat. At least they didn't say cute cat. But it's a kitty cat anyway, and, and for people who like cats, this will be fun to do. It's very... Um, it's a lot of white. Let me put it that way. There's a lot of these symbols. Look, this is what I, I don't really care for in any type of canvas. This symbol here and that symbol there are so similar and they're all right next to each other in this, the whole cat. The whole cat has those symbols all over the place. So it's going to either give you a headache or mix you up or <laughs> something. So not much color to this. Uh, there is 16 colors, but the color variation is mainly because of the ears and the eyes and the mouth on well, the nose. And then there's some shading down here at the bottom. The, the cat itself is basically, it looks like one, two, three, three different, three or four different colors. Yeah, this one. Yeah, so there's not much. But it is confetti. It's confetti all the way through. You're not getting one like big blotches of one color. So there's that. And let's look at what their kit looks like. All right. Got another blue one. So, so far it's blue and yellow that I'm seeing. With the baggies. Yeah, and here's the... cat colors and all the browns for the ears and the mouth and the nose and there's some blues for the eye Z, eyes and more browns and nope there are no AB colors AB finishes all right so I'm going to put this one away and then I will be back with the last one, which is going to be the um, expert. I think that's what they call it. I keep forgetting. The advanced. So I'll be right back with that one. Okay, I did want to say something. One thing about that, the cat one, it did have a lot of gems. And mainly because it's a bigger area that's covered. So there's a lot more to do on that one than um, all of them, even. Even more than the sun. Okay, so here is the advanced box. 
Now this one's a peacock and it takes up, it's a full drill. And I'm guessing that's why they call it advanced because it is a full drill. And here it shows you the complete canvas. Shows you the whole picture. I'm not, I, I honestly am not a peacock person, but I do love diamond painting. And it says this one is a 45 by 50 fabric size. And it has 4.4 ounces of gems, which is 125.4 grams. Much more than these other ones. So let's open this up and take a look. Here we go canvas and big bag of diamonds another yellow so that means yellow and blue are the two colors I've gotten I want to look at the gems but that's always last Let's look at this canvas So the design size is 37 by 42. So well, about the size of a 40 by 40 approximately, even though the fabric size is 45 by 50. And it does show that it is a full drill. This one's called Beacock, Peacock. And let's look at this. And going by the numbers, I do not see any AB drills in this one. Oh wait, there is one color. The t A10, which is the slash. So let's see where that fits in here. That would be right in here in these um, feathers. Not the, not the big peacock feathers, but in this area right in here, there's a bunch of these slashes. And it's over in here too. So it looks like it might be a fairly good sized um, bag of them. But 23 colors. It does, well, it looks like there's like an area that doesn't, didn't get drilled or, yeah, they have a small area going around the outside that isn't glued and there's nothing to do um any kind of painting on so it's just like an extra maybe they missized it or something but i've never seen it like that where there's part of the picture on a full drill that doesn't have um is not drilled good good this this one seems to actually be stickier than that sun that i tested so this is actually really really big I mean, not really, really big, but it's it's a fair size. But the the glue, the adhesive area, it it all looks it looks great. Um, I, I can't remember these were either seventeen ninety five or eighteen ninety five. I can't remember. But um, if you were to get a diamond dots from Michaels of this something like this, you would be it would cost forty dollars. So it's about half the price of the Diamond Dots kits. So let's look at this. You already saw the kit. And yep, here we go. A10. It has the AB finish on them. Now tell me you can see that. You can see the AB on there. Because I can see it. Yeah. So this has a lot of colors. I mean, it's got the greens and it's got these ugh, pea soup green color and browns, blues, beautiful blues, oranges, yellows, more greens, grays, and browns, and a little bit of black. That's the first black I've seen in any of these kits. And then orange and more brown. 
So there we go. That is my video of my my um, leisure arts haul of diamond paintings from Walmart. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope if you haven't seen these in your Walmart, that you will be able to find them soon because this is this answers a lot of questions on or answers the pleas of people to be able to get a lower price diamond painting in a store and especially it being in Walmart it wouldn't it be nice to just be able to run to Walmart and get a diamond painting when you are between paintings and you don't have anything coming or you're waiting for something to come yeah so even Amazon Prime that takes two days or three days and Michael's you know they're they're a little bit more expensive and sure you could go there and get them, but a lot of people don't want to pay that price. But a lot of Walmarts are open 24 seven too. Middle of the night, can't sleep, go to Walmart, get yourself a diamond painting. <laughs> I don't know, ours close at midnight now. They used to be open 24 hours, but they don't stay open that late anymore. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have a question for you. So the question of today is, if you were to pick one of these diamond paintings, which one would be the one that you would want to do first? That's my question. Not a hard one, but it's just a question of the day. I'm just curious as to if you weren't walking into Walmart now and these were the only five you could choose from, which one would you get? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.